Bonjour tout le monde. It is the video, can you survive while skiing and drinking at the same time? So we've set out five challenges that we've come up with as a group between myself, Nick, and cameraman Matt that he has no idea that he's gonna be doing today on the slopes. <laughs> right, challenge number one, we'll start easy and we'll work our way into it. We're gonna see how fast this Northern Irishman can just down a pint. Very easy. Do I have a glass? Very easy. There's no glass, it's fresh from the bottle. So you could go for the tornado. Last time that happened. Nightmare. We actually have footage of him on the boat in Northern Ireland almost chundering when trying to do the older tornado swirl. Cut it that is exactly what happened to me. I forgot to swallow. That's what she said. <laughs> First one for Roscoe. Let's get a timer. We'll also have a little tally of how many drinks he's had throughout the day. He is considered a professional drinker after all. I'm not. He really is. Out of everybody in the group, he's by far the best drinker. So, after you, pal. Ooh. Give it a tornado to finish it off. Oh, that's so stinking. <laughs> there we go. Mate, see that goes down like an absolute treat. 11 seconds. 11 seconds on the dot. We'll see if the time improves as the day goes on. I need a pint glass. Well, we didn't bring you one of those. We don't have the luxury of bringing out pint glasses with us. <laughs> right, we are going to start skiing down the mountain. Off to challenge number two. We are in the family park now for challenge number two. Ross has to finish the entire hip blast <laughs> on the way down, but he can only drink when he's in mid-air. Possible. It's possible. Quarter bottle of whiskey, ladies and gents. Ready? No. I'll take a pause for you. So I say I think it's fair that seeing as you were supposed to down it, you may as well finish it off now. Basically on today's video folks, I have been both selected to be bullied today. So far they're doing a pretty good job. <laughs> uh, I'm actually moving out next week as well. <laughs> you wouldn't dream of it mate, we need you, otherwise who else is going to do our drinking videos? That's like a full beer of whiskey. That's a total sack. Sack! No problem, I'm just saying that maybe you can't take it. We By the way, like uh, to drink, drink with Ross, because Ross is our mate, our mate. And when we drink with Ross, he sees it all been eight, seven, six, five, four. Give me a beer as a chaser here. Okay. This whiskey is just too stinking. Nick's wearing a Tinder thing here. Oui. His uh, search categories are 13 to 17. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is 50 plus. Look at this old man. Nick, do you want to help him out? Come on. That is dog shit. Can't even stand up anymore. Yeah, I can't. I just. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is the man who's in skis. Puta <laughs> mierda! Ross has just done challenge two. Mm. Well done, big man. We're now off to challenge three. We're going to go top of the mountain and all the way down. See you up there. We'll let you know what challenge three is. <laughs> Brilliant. You like it? Thank you. Mm. Very good. Do so any of you know how to delete? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to tape this all up to his hand uh, and we'll have another one on this one so that he's going to be Edward Scissorhand and he's going to have to finish it by the time he gets to the bottom. The most ultimate <laughs> POV in the world. If any of you seen Francis Bourgois, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. The train spotting guy on TikTok, it's almost impossible to miss him. You're gonna get a really good POV, similar POV, we hope anyway. <laughs> Let's cut to some epic, epic cinematic footage of this man with a stripper on his car. <laughs> Like Ross is about to start. He has from the top of here, top of Courchevel, all the way down into Maribel. Starting right now to finish those two beers. No way. 
Not even halfway down. Empty. Fucking hell. On a scale of one to 10, how do you reckon you're feeling right now in terms of being drunk? So still a three? Okay, still a three. This is the body gets slapped. We're currently at a place called Shea Biff, otherwise known as Mountain Burger for anybody who speaks like English and is not French. They basically stack burgers with like sourdough bread, chicken, every bit of veg that you could possibly want, bacon. They do every type of burger here as well. And they stuff it with raclette cheese. My boy, my man. <laughs> this is Chris, everybody. His energy is unmatched. Mainstream sticker. Front and center. There's two airbags down here in Monterey. One you can go up your skis on, or one you can go down on like a rubber dinghy. So we're gonna chuck Ross off the rubber dinghy because they are people, we've seen people go down them right now and they're going fucking flying. And Ross has got a little bit of weight to him so he's gonna go fucking flying. He has no idea how high he's gonna go. But he has to chug a pint before he goes down. Uh, we're gonna double it up because he's just had something to eat so he's gonna drink two pints before he goes down. Oh, she so got a wet. Drink it! Sorry, Ross. We like to drink with Ross because Ross is our mate! Every in my back there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> You're like, no! I, mean, I swear to God, my whole spine from top to bottom just clicked. We're gonna go head down to Ronnie's right now, which is like a really popular uh, pub slash club. Uh, have a few drinks, and we've got one more challenge in store for us when we get there. Ross is probably about a six. So, is skiing while drunk possible? Definitely. Yeah. You agree, Chris? I'm drunk too. I know. You're joking. I'm not joking. What the fuck? So we got this at special request from behind the bar. This is the list for millionaires. What we have here is all the expensive drink that they sell here. I want you to close your eyes. Whatever you put your finger on, we're buying. This is the final challenge and it's all yours. And just so we know, we've got some extremely deadly prices down here. Oh wow, fucking hell. Close your eyes, I'll put your blindfold right over your head. That's not bad, you know what, that's mid tier. We'll take, we'll take that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah not bad. Uh, you can take your finger off. Hey, I swear to God, Red Bull, please sponsor us. I'm gonna go broke by the end of this season. Good hell, baby. They'd run out of the 60 euro champagne. They'd run out of the 70 euro champagne. So we've gone for 150 euro champagne, baby. Oh! <laughs> Did you even ask for a season there? They don't do it on bottles of champagne. <laughs> How much do we think we've drunk up to this point? Wait, you haven't even your Not enough. <laughs> Today's vlog, uh, these guys tried to get me drunk. They failed. Failed. Like a driver. Is it possible oh, to ski and drink at the same time? Yeah. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a hardcore Irish man, genuinely, please. never skied better. <laughs> I've done this challenge. I bagsy not doing the other challenge. I'm doing the next one. Oh. All right. So, grab to the grab. Ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm swimming in my head I've been dreaming on the air Got a bottle